Hey guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Now that summer is here and it is super hot outside, I have switched up my makeup a little bit. I'm reaching for different colors and different products. So in today's video, I thought I would share my summer beauty essentials. I usually like to film these videos every season because I love switching up my makeup and the products that I reach for are a little bit different every season. But I thought for this video, I would focus on drugstore products. So I kind of did a roundup on all of my favorite affordable products. There are some products that I've loved for a while, things that I constantly reach for during the summer months. And then I also have a couple of newer favorites as well. So I can't wait to share them with you guys. I do want to say thank you to ShopTagger for sponsoring a portion of today's video. I love ShopTagger so much. It has saved me so much money over the years. And I know that some of you guys use it, but if you haven't tried it, it's such an essential tool if you do any sort of online shopping. And I know online shopping is kind of what most of us are doing these days. It's a free web app that actually notifies you when the products that you want go on sale. And it can also tell you when out of stock products go back in stock. So you're not constantly having to check a bunch of different websites. It just organizes everything into one place. So I use ShopTagger for a lot of different reasons. I told you guys that it helped me save on a dress that I purchased for my sister's wedding. I also use it for my staple products. So I have a list where I save all of my go-to products that I repurchase over and over. So that way, if those products go on sale, I can get them for a discounted price, which is great because these are products that I would have paid full price for. So I definitely recommend using ShopTagger for that purpose as well. It's so easy to use. It's free. All you have to do is download it and install the browser button. And then when you're doing your shopping and you see a product that you want to save to your account, all you have to do is click the shop tagger button. You can choose different things like the size if you're looking for a specific size or color preference if that does apply. And then when the product goes on sale or comes back in stock, shop tagger emails you letting you know. If you download the shop tagger app on your phone, you can also get a push notification letting you know as well. And then shop tagger does have a lot of cool features. They have the option to organize your products into different lists just to keep things a little bit more organized. So like I said, I do have one for staple products, which I've been getting a lot of use out of. ShopTagger also shares coupon codes at checkout. So if there is an available code, you can get an even bigger discount, which is always great. I always love saving more money if possible. ShopTagger is also hosting a giveaway this month. It's really easy to enter. All you have to do is download the ShopTagger mobile app and the Google Chrome extension and then save any product to your account by July 30th. And then on July 31st, they'll notify the winner and the winner gets to choose a purchase of their choice up to $1,000. So I'll put more details below as well as a link to download ShopTagger and try it out. I've been using ShopTagger for like three or four years at this point. I honestly use it every week because I just don't like to pay full price if I don't have to and so many products go on sale. So I think you guys will love it. It's definitely worth checking out. Thanks again to ShopTagger for sponsoring today's video and supporting my channel. And let's jump into my summer beauty essentials. Okay, let's start with eyeshadow palettes. So I have a mix of all three of these palettes on my eyes today. During the summertime, I love like really intense warm tones. I love oranges and peaches and pinks. I do like blues and purples, but I feel like I mainly focus on really intense warm shadow. And I also love golden tones, of course. So the first palette I want to talk about is the e.l.f. Retro Paradise palette. This one comes with 18 different shadows and you get such a mix within this palette. When I first saw it, it immediately caught my eye. It does perform well. The metallic shadows are so nice and soft soft and smooth. The matte shadows require a little bit of blending and a little bit of building. So I definitely have some videos planned using this palette. I have two different looks that I want to film for sure, but I might do a third look as well, just because there's so much going on and you create so many fun looks using this palette. And I've just been enjoying it so much. So if you've been thinking about picking this up, I honestly don't think you would be disappointed. It's a really gorgeous palette. One of my favorite ColourPop palettes is the Baby Got Peach palette. I might have mentioned this in a recent video, but I just love using this. If you are into warm toned peachy orange shadows, I think you'll really enjoy this one. And a lot of you guys might actually have this in your collection because it has been out for a while. This just has the perfect range of like everyday warm peachy eyeshadows. This is one of my go-to palettes because not only does ColourPop's you know, formula perform really well, but I feel like when I use this palette, my look doesn't get too intense. I have a tendency to go overboard and I'll, you know, have plans to do a very simple neutral eyeshadow look. And before I know it, it's really intense, really dark. When I use this palette, I obviously get like a really peachy look, but it's just a softer peachy look that I think is really fun for everyday wear. So this is definitely one of my go-to palettes. I'll be reaching for it all summer long. Now, if you like peaches, but you also like pinks and the Baby Got Peach palette has maybe just one too many peach eyeshadows in it, you might actually enjoy their new Miss Bliss palette. This one 
one is one of their 9 pan palettes, but this one comes with like half warm toned peachy oranges and then a couple of pops of pink. I'm mainly wearing this palette on my eyes today. I have a couple of other random shadows from the palettes I mentioned and then a liquid shadow from e.l.f. I just kind of put on like a ton of shadows today, but this is a really fun palette because you do get like those orange tones, those pinks, and everything just blends so well together and it is on the softer side. So you kind of get like a pastel vibe, a little bit of like, it just reminds me, there's like this ice cream at one of the local ice cream places that's like pink and orange sherbet mixed together. And that's what this reminds me of. Random fact about me, but one of my first jobs was scooping ice cream. I started working there when I was in maybe like junior high. I guess I was like 14 or 15 and I worked there for like five or six years all through college because it was the best job. You got free ice cream, you got amazing tips during the summertime and it was just so much fun. So this kind of reminds me of like that pink and orangey ice cream for some reason, but I just think that this is a really fun palette for summer if you are thinking about buying like the Baby Got Peach, but you also like incorporating pink tones. Actually, one more. This is the e.l.f. Bite Sized Eyeshadow Palette in Pumpkin Pie. I do talk about these a lot on my channel, but Pumpkin Pie is a little bit newer to me, and I've been reaching for this one so much. You can create a complete warm-toned bronzy eyeshadow look in two minutes. There are two matte shadows, two metallic shadows, and this formula is so good. It really is effortless and easy to work with. So if you do want to update your collection or you're very simplistic with your eyeshadow, this comes with four shades and it's $3 and they blend and work so beautifully together. So I do recommend this one too. Okay, let's talk about a couple of cheek products. So I picked up these two new blushes from Essence. I don't know if they're brand new, but they are new to my collection. I think they were under $3 or right around the $3 price tag, which is great because Essence makes really nice blushes. I'll swatch both of them for you guys just so you can see the shades that I have. I have Befitting and Bespoke, but Bespoke is definitely going to be my go-to summer blush. I'm wearing it today and the formula is perfect. These are so blendable and so gorgeous on the cheeks. Befitting is more of a matte blush, which I do like, but Bespoke has this gorgeous sheen to it. And I, I do love shimmery blushes, but I've kind of moved away from really intense shimmer or obvious glitter. And these days, I just like to reach for blush that has a little bit of a sheen to it because I think it gives your skin the most gorgeous, healthy glow. And this one looks so pretty on the cheeks. I am wearing it today and I feel like it just kind of smooths over my skin. It makes everything look really healthy and gorgeous. I love this formula. I think it is so good. And again, it's $3. So this year I've been trying to shop my stash quite a bit and I fell back in love with my Milani Baked Blush in the shade Luminoso. This color is so perfect for spring and summer and it really complements like those warm toned orangey eyeshadow looks really well. I think when some brands do baked cheek products and they're a little bit more on the dry side, they kind of translate the same way on the skin and there's not a lot of pigment to them. They're chalky and dry. This one is obviously a baked blush, but it just looks so pretty on the skin. As you can see, it just has like that natural sheen and it just looks healthy on the skin. So this is another great option that some of you guys might already have in your collection as well, but this is something that I'll be reaching for a lot this summer. I've been loving like 85 different bronzers this year. I don't know what it is about bronzer that's so appealing to me in 2020, but I've just been wanting to try some new ones. I've kind of pulled out all of my older bronzers to see if I still love them, and I definitely still love this one, and it's so different than all of the other bronzers that I own. This one is the Flower Beauty Heat Wave Luminous Bronzer, and I have the shade Sunrise L1, which I believe is the lightest shade. I am wearing this bronzer today, and it's just such a beautiful color and such a gorgeous formula. It's very silky and soft and it looks amazing on the skin. Again, it just kind of has like this natural luminosity to it. It's not a full on like shimmery bronzer and you know, it does look pretty matte, but because it has like a hint of like a luminous glow, it just blends out so beautifully on the skin and it looks amazing on your skin. I love using this product when I don't want to apply bronzer and blush and highlighter and I want something very simple because it is so easy to blend onto the skin and it has a little bit of a red undertone. I feel like that red undertone really helps because I love using it as like a bronzer blush all in one and it's just a different formula and color than a lot of my other bronzers. So there are two different lip products I wanted to mention in today's video. I haven't been wearing lip products as much as I normally do because obviously Whenever I go out in public, I'm wearing a mask and no one can see it. Sometimes I'll still apply them because it's just kind of second nature. And if I'm going anywhere where I can like take it off or if I'm filming videos, 
or you know, wearing lip products for me. Sometimes I do that around the house. These are the lip products I'm reaching for. The first one is the one that I'm wearing today over a lip liner. This is the NYX Filler Instinct Plumping Lip Color in the shade Beach Casual. I totally bought this because I saw like an Instagram ad for it or it was like a promotion in my feed and it looked so pretty. And now I wanna purchase additional shades because I love this one so much. I like wearing bright lip colors during the summertime, but I think the majority of the time I'm kind of focusing on bright eyes shadow and I love wearing like a nude lip color and this one is perfect because it is a sheer lip color but it has a gorgeous glossy finish it stays in place well it's a little bit of a thicker formula compared to some of the other sheer lip colors that I like so I do feel like it lasts on my lips a little bit longer it is really glossy and it just kind of glides over all of the fine lines in your lips that's not something I usually notice but because they describe it as a plumping lip color I was kind of paying attention like the first few days that I was wearing it and I just felt like it made my my lips look super smooth it's also incredibly hydrating like some sheer lip colors can kind of dry down and dry your lips out but even after I remove this product my lips feel so moisturized the rest of the day I love wearing this product on its own I love wearing it over lip liner and I'll sometimes wear it over more of a dry lipstick formula it goes so well over liquid lipstick because you get the longevity of the liquid lipstick but the comfortable feeling of this product so I do want to go online and purchase additional shades because I honestly think this is going to be like one of my top nude lipsticks. I've been wearing it like pretty much every single day since I got it and I can't get enough of it. The other lip product that I've been loving is from e.l.f. and I have talked about these a couple times on my channel. These are the e.l.f. Sheer Slick Lipsticks. I originally purchased one in the shade Cherry Slush, but I enjoyed it so much that I purchased additional shades. So I also have Grapefruit and Orange Crush, and these are so much fun because they are really bright. For sheer lipsticks, these also have... This is going to sound like a complete contradiction, but these also have good pigmentation. So you can build them up to look a little bit more intense on the lips, but they still kind of have like that sheer factor. Like you can still see through them, even though they are a little bit more intense on the lips. They're really glossy, really gorgeous. I would say these don't last on the lips quite as long as the NYX lipsticks, but they're easy to touch up because they are so effortless. And what's nice about these is that even though you can build them up to look a little bit more intense, you can also kind of dot them on your lips and then rub your lips together or like blend them in with a finger and get like a true sheer wash of color. So you can wear them a few different ways and I just think they're really beautiful. The packaging is fun and they're great for summer. Let's finish up with two different primers and a powder. I don't really have any foundations or concealers or like base complexion products to talk about because if I'm leaving the house and it's really hot out and I'm going to have a mask on, I'm not going to take the time to apply foundation because it's just going to get all over the mask. So I feel like I have been skipping foundation a lot lately, but I usually still go in with some sort of oil controlling primer because my skin does get really oily during the summertime. So I recently purchased this e.l.f. Plus Matte Blotting Mist and I tried it out in a couple of different ways and at first I thought it was a complete fail because it says that you're actually supposed to use it as a mattifying touch-up spray. So once your skin gets oily, you're supposed to spray this everywhere and it's supposed to mattify your skin, but that doesn't work for me. It almost breaks up my makeup and makes things look a lot worse and I don't even think my skin really looks matte after I do that if I'm wearing makeup but I wanted to figure out a way to kind of salvage it because I did spend my money on it so I started using it as a priming spray and that works so well so after I apply my skincare I'll go in with this product and spray it everywhere you have to shake it up really well there are like two metal balls in here because the product will actually settle to the bottom and I read some reviews saying that when people sprayed this on their skin they were left with like white dots of product when I shake this really really well that doesn't happen to me and because I am going in with it as a priming spray if that was to happen I could just kind of cover it up with makeup but I don't have that issue but I do find that it makes a difference it keeps my skin matte longer throughout the day it's weird because I don't notice a big difference if I spray it on halfway throughout the day once my skin is oily but if I use it before my skin gets oily I do feel like my skin stays matte longer I also love the elf oil control primer mist I've talked about this for a while on my channel but this really does make a difference as well I don't spray this one onto my face like I do with the other products because it doesn't come out really nicely so I'll just spray it into my hand and press it into my skin. You know what? I actually haven't tried that with the matte blotting mist. I wonder if that would work well 
with this product as well. So I might have to give that a shot. They're pretty similar. This one feels a little bit more hydrating on the skin and you know, not quite as mattifying, but it is a nice primer if you want something really lightweight to kind of help control the oil throughout the day. So this has always been a summer essential. I think I've gone through like two of these. And the last product has been a summer essential for many years. This is the Essence All About Matte Fixing Compact Powder. I usually go through one of these every summer because this is probably the most mattifying powder that I have. As much as I love my Too Faced Peach Powder, I feel like this one is just such an easy powder to use during the summertime. It's perfect because it's very small and compact. I can throw it in my makeup bag for touch-ups throughout the day. I can keep it at my vanity and it just works really well. I like that it's translucent so it doesn't add any extra coverage because like I said, there are days where I just skip foundation altogether, but I might still want like oil controlling products like an oil controlling primer or a mattifying setting spray. Sometimes when I'm not wearing makeup, I'll still dust one of these powders all over my skin just to keep my skin matte for as long as possible. And this powder is perfect. It's super affordable. It's pretty powdery, but I think that's why I like it so much during the summertime because I feel like that extra powderiness just keeps my skin matte longer. So this is definitely something that I love every single summer. It's something that I'm sure I'll continue to use. So I just wanted to mention that as well. So those are all of the products that I've been loving lately. Let me know in the comment section below which products you'll be reaching for this summer season. I would love to hear from you. And again, I'll link Shop Tiger in the description box below so you guys can try it out yourself. But I'll see you guys very soon with another video. Bye.